Welcome to a whole new series in a game called Railbound. I'm Dear Darling and enjoy the ride as we make connections and travel the world together. Yeah, so this is going to be our new puzzle series, Railbound, you know, um, following on, I suppose, kind of from Cosmic Express. I suppose I just have an affinity now for um, these rail based games. Um, I don't really know anything about Railbound except for it looks cute and it's got good reviews and it's a puzzle game. So I guess we're kind of here to learn together, um, to be perfectly honest. I'm just sort of looking around, seeing what on earth is going on. So we've got our, well, we can't even press RZ, refresh, spaces to start, but uh, obviously that's not going to work. Oh! That's a really clever way to do a play and stop button. Or is that just how train signs work? I don't really know. So it looks like left click is to put down stuff, right click is to pick it up again. Okay, simple enough. Make a track, connect the, the carriage to the locomotive, and we are good to go. I assume this is going to be the same sort of thing. Well, of course, we're, we're in the tutorial now, you know. We're Cosmic Express, uh, Cosmic Express experts, you know. We know how to put down tracks. We know how to make things work. So we click this to, ah, I see, make it go a different direction. I don't, I don't really know what E did there. I thought E was going to skip to the end, but hold on. What is, oh, E, E, E like stop, slows it down. Okay. So E is like slow it down when Q is speed it up. Gotcha. Anyway. Um, oh, oh, I don't, okay. We can put, we can actually just take some stuff away. Okay. Well, how do I? How do I bring that? Ah, okay. So that's how I... So that's how I do stuff. Is I bring it around forward like this. I also, I put colorblind, colorblind mode on. But it's, I think it's just, I think it's, oh my god. Is this how the options work? It, that's what's making it do this giant red flash, I assume. Um, around the screen, which is not, no, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know what necessarily colorblind mode does. That seems very strange that they would have like this giant um, red frame appear, but sorry, a lot of thoughts. I turned colorblind mode on. I'm not colorblind myself, but I thought, you know, maybe someone would like it. Maybe, you know, if you're watching your colorblind, you want to watch along and you're like, ah, the colors are messing with my brain, then here you go. Well, I say here you go as if I've done you a great favor. It's not like I've really done you. <laughs> it, I, I didn't really have to do much for it, I suppose. It's, kind of what I mean to say. Ah, I didn't even realise we have a limited amount of tracks. Right, I see. So that's why it actually matters that we can pick up stuff which already exists and um, stuff which um, is already part of a level. And it seems like we can certainly draw um, things in a certain shape. Like we can, presume if we do this, we can draw, we would, okay, well, maybe we can't because that doesn't actually go anywhere, but I assume we'd be able to draw that sort of double splitting track, which I don't, I was, just about to say, I don't know why we need a splitting track, but I guess this is the reason why, is now we are getting introduced to two cars, which I assume the one and the two is just like the order that they need to come in on. So okay, we're in tutorial section, we're in easy days right now, let's just, you know, I've d done enough dilly dallying, you know, I, I know there's, we, experimenting is good and all that, but it's also probably good as well to actually just get through the stuff which we know how it works. I do love the stylization of this game though. It's very nice. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, let, let's just breeze through these early levels and then let's get to the, the real meat and potatoes, I suppose, later. Oh, oh, okay, you go that way, I see. I mean, how, how, how much can we delay you? Is that enough of a delay? That's enough of a delay. Okay. I don't know why it's unlocking like 112 and 112A, I suppose, necessarily, but that's something I suppose we'll have to figure out for ourselves later. Excuse me? Yes, there we go. What? Oh, that's not how it works. I see, because you, you want to go that way, but that will not happen that way. Okay, so then we just need to sort of meander about. No, hold on, we can't do that. <laughs> we, we just got to figure out a way to be able to delay this car from being part of this. That's probably enough? Yeah, okay. Shouldn't have been as difficult as it is. I, I guess all of these must have variation levels or something. Interesting. With 12 tracks of this one. I can't see any reason we wouldn't want you just to go in as fast as possible and you just to take a longer route round. So I, I guess these must be, I don't know, hold on, if we can escape out of it, maybe we can... Yes, okay, so... Oh, right, it's drawing out our track and these must be bonus tracks. Well, let's complete the world first and then we'll go back and do the bonus ones. Why not? 
unsurprisingly the next step up is we've got now got oh gosh we've now got three um cars to be working with which should theoretically just work nice lovely easy world one done i don't know how many worlds there are i don't know how quickly we'll progress through things but this is of course the story it's um two dogs i don't know but oh we could pet them <laughs> traveling the world on a train is that it okay and there we go that goes into two one all right i don't know if, if this is the right timing to be doing the bonus tracks but like why not i suppose um oh we do not have a lot of tracks for this right so i don't know how necessarily difficult this is going to be but this is going to really i suppose test our acumen for this sort of thing to see if we've really been paying attention nine tracks is not a lot considering that we had to do something like this i assume this is not what we have to do oh uh, you know what I, I bet we have to do this that that makes most sense to me there we go sneak it all in i was like how do we get the one two and three going that's how we get the one two and three going and how you're facing the other way you're also facing the other way like it always makes sense to me that you will just you should be as fast as possible ah we're one track too short um but you, yeah you should just go in as fast as possible right i think i don't know if that will work actually i think you i think you need to delay more time because i think oh that's not even gonna work okay 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 that's not gonna work we need to we need to think about this more this is why this is a b level rather than an a level <laughs> instead of and the gcse's does that work oh wait you're not you're not even going in that way no you're you're, you're going too quickly and you also collide there which is not optimal it's the first time we've had a collision and unsurprisingly collisions not allowed um I think this makes the most sense as we just follow in like this. I don't know why I didn't try that earlier because it's basically what we were doing on one of our previous levels as we snake them all together. We connect our exits and entrances. Oh, it has a ticket stubs. I see when we solve a level. So that's, what a clever way to, to show that happening. Right. Um, presumably that's not going to work. So presumably we need to have like a... We need to do that, but the other way around. Right. <laughs> I was like, we solved it, but it's backwards. The simplest solution? The simplest solution. Decrease the resolution and turn that train around. Oh god, but what, what, is, what is this absolute eldritch nightmare of a, a track layer I've done? So does that... Okay, one doesn't actually make it first. So two, you have to actually delay a bit more time. Three, I don't know how on earth we're going to delay enough time for this. Ah, you know what? We probably had to do a similar sort of thing. We had to make you go backwards. So you're... No, hold on. You're going to go... You're going to go down like that. That's not what we want. We want you to go down normally. So basically, the, the, the idea, I think, of this was to do a similar sort of thing where we had to send free up the track and then it has to come back back again by via a loop de loop actually is that is that just a permanent loop de loop that is a permanent loop de loop so this is a useful thing to know i suppose to turn things around turn around give me your hand darling i don't know if it's actually all that useful in this situation so I don't know if it's what we need to do. <laughs> what is going on? This is confusing, to say the very least. I don't really want you to turn around. I just guess I want you to do this. But then I want you to come down. Okay, this is actually going to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, I think. I feel like this makes sense of then sending you out this way. But then I need you, I need you to actually turn off earlier. Maybe, maybe you need to turn off like way earlier. 
and then number two you follow in like this and then number three you need to like loop de loop round. Undo, 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 get get back to that beautiful thing. Is there there's not a redo button? Okay, well that's suboptimal, I would say. Oh god, what what am I doing? I keep drawing a wrong thing. So this'll get one in first. Two needs to follow in just like that. Two needs to follow in slightly delayed like that. And then three needs to do something like that. Yeah, okay. That's that's weird. <laughs> um, I think that that shape it ends up making towards the end of a circle is a bit of a coincidence. So one one just takes back corner, two takes none of the corners, and three just takes those two corners. It, we we don't even need to do this loop de loop. No, because that's what one takes. No, okay. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out what the simpler solution would be. Yeah, we just do that. Okay, so that's actually probably a nicer way to look at it. Less confusing because we have less turns in it, but we're basically overlaying tracks. So this is the first turn, this is the second track, and then the third one is one that's overlaid on top of the first one. So that's perhaps a useful way to think about it, is the fact we can share corners, I suppose, and overlay the same tracks over on top of each other. Okay, noted. Right, so this is a similar sort of thing. We, we know what we had to do here is we had to do something like this, but we also somehow need to have one arrive first. So one one needs to get there, full stop. Three. Probably shouldn't turn around yet, maybe. Maybe this is a, a lesson in timing. Because we need three to do something. So one will go like this, two will go... This is not useful. Okay, well, okay, let, let's start. Is there any way we can make one immediately go backwards? I don't think so. So one has to do something like this, probably. I don't know why it wouldn't just be the fastest route possible. Then two... Maybe we can loop around like this. So that would solve one and two, but now we need three to do something. Which is not that. Ah, uh, so actually, this solves too, right? It's going to loop back on itself and free. No, hold on. I don't want free to go down that path. I need, I need to undo. Hold on, because this is promising. This is one and two are solved, but free needs to get out of the way, basically, like that. Almost like this. Not quite like this. But almost like this. Because unfortunately they collide into each other. But provided they didn't collide. This would be pretty good. I don't know if we can make... I don't know if it's even possible to make them not collide. This is also a cool shape. I don't... I don't know if it's useful, but <laughs> it's a cool shape. I keep doing it, it's not going to change anything. Because I need, I need free to basically go somewhere else, but I don't have enough track to basically make it go anywhere. I need like a four way intersection somehow. That has to go that way. No, what we need is. That. No. What? Because <laughs> whatever path we lead in, surely one's also going to take that path as well. Which probably means actually that this is wrong and one needs to turn in like this. Because we need one to ignore the turn, basically. Oh my god. Because we need three to turn off and we need one to not turn off.
So we need one to enter like this, don't we? That, that, this cannot be right. What, what am I doing? I probably shouldn't try a difficult level so early on. But, you know, you know me. If you've seen me play puzzle games before, of course I'm going to try this. Um, this would be really good if we had more track. Which, unfortunately, we, we don't. Unless we can... Somehow... Make this work. <laughs> I, I'm not convinced. The, the only thing that feels reasonable is I feel like one has to. It has to be something like this. Because we need three to turn off immediately, but we need one to still be able to go in there. But I don't think we can do it if it was like this, can we? No, because then one will go off in that direction. Three will. Be. So this is. I guess this way to think of it is like a Y intersection where both of them are going off into the same thing, but this is but this is a split intersection where they're both going off in different directions, kind of. It's kind of like I guess it's more yeah, it is like a Y. And it's depending on which parts like do we have if if it, if this is a Y shape, like these are the two, let's say like branches and this is like the tree trunk. If it goes into the tree trunk, we can make it go <laughs> what am I saying? We can make it go either way through the tree trunk. But if it's going in through the branch, then it either continues forward or it turns. Right? So, hold on. <laughs> what am I saying? If anything, I guess we should call this one the trunk. Does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense. Apologies a little bit of a pause there. Um, yeah, so we were doing this level. Right. Um, I, I don't know if we made any progress on this. Um, I also feel like I'm, I'm at the stage, you know, it's, it's always an awkward stage at the start puzzle games where I'm not quite good enough to be able to hold a coherent conversation while trying to solve a puzzle at the same time. So I'm just sort of like, I've, I've been like reflecting, I suppose, on what I've been saying. And I feel like it's just mostly been like, hmm, do this, do this, do this. Which, you know, it's fine. But it's sort of like a, you know, is that what you're here for? Maybe. I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. But um, I feel like this has to be a given. Like, there's no way to get this one out of here. Like, I, I think it's purposely designed to only give us one space here. So we can't do a, a full turnaround. So two, we technically have space to turn around, but not a lot of space. Which is why I'm like, I want the two to link back here, but then the three can't do anything. Unless we... Whoa, what does this even do? Okay, well, they all get stuck, like, forever, so that's probably no good, but, um... <laughs> what? I don't even know what I'm doing yet. It just feels evocative, somehow. I feel like if I just keep trying all these different combinations of things, one of them is going to work. Despite the fact that's not remotely how things go. Um, okay, it kind of feels like a one and two has to go like that. It kind of feels like a three should join up there. But we need, we need like one extra rail for that to happen. Which we don't have we can't we don't have enough rails basically to make this work because if a three could just like go along like this that'd be fantastic the two go along like this and the one go along like so what if we what if we could do this hold on the two goes like that what does this one do one goes like that so we kind of want it to go that way but we can't um Well, we're in a loop, which is not, not the most useful thing, but I guess it's kind of amusing. Um, what if we had this? Does that work? I feel like we lucked into that. What did I just do? Hold on. So one immediately goes through, two takes a long way around, and three... Isn't this kind of what we did? It's just... 
not not the same. <laughs> Why didn't I, f I swear we tried a beginning thing one immediately taking root, but we did it backwards. Hold on, you're gonna hate me for doing this, but I have to see like what I did before and why didn't that work? It's because we needed the, cha the chain here, right? So one would immediately go across, three would instead turn away, and two would go round. Right? I was actually really close to it then the first time I I laid this out. That's how we get rid of. That's how we um save a one track is we actually have the two tracks there just connects instead. Um. Oh, we were so close to solving world. Is this something which is solvable? You think in a couple of seconds? Probably not, but you know, I'm gonna try. Does this even make sense? What am I doing? Oh, that almost feels like it works. It doesn't, but it almost feels like it. It does, and that's like the most important part. No, I don't want it. I, I want you to turn this way, so you have to be like that. But then I want, I want when you're here, I want you just to continue onwards. That's not doable. I, ju I just wanted to see, is this something I can solve in like a few seconds? I mean, it feels like it's almost right. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, what? What am I doing? We need free to get stuck for a while. So basically, we, I, I kind of want free to go downwards, then go this way, while two, you go. different way somehow what am I doing you go that way you go that way no what yes like this but then then you continue upwards but you can't continue upwards because that's is there a way to make you can't figure out how this works. What? This this feels like it's almost right. We also have space down here. I don't know if that's necessarily useful, but what if we did this? The number two. You went like this. Number three, I don't know what you're going to do, but... Number three, you're going to come down. And... Be useful somehow. No, this can't be right. That's a, that's a minimum. Then I need you to come down like this, right? To actually preserve this. I don't want you turning that way, is the thing. I want you to continue on, but I want you to go that way. Does that work? Ah, it's the same thing again. How can I make three turn around but two doesn't? I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to figure this out next time. I, I spent too long, too long on it. I tried to complete the first world though in the first um, in first episode. Maybe we should come back to these some some of these harder ones and just see if we can breeze through the second world and learn more mechanics and come back to it. But I think that's a pretty good start, to be honest. I mean. I think respectable. So for now, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Railbound. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares, greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.